All right, we are back, and um, Space Mister on the stream is asking, is this game with Lucky Nations on? The answer to that is yes. We are playing this with Iron Man mode. We are going for the achievements, foremost servitor of Jagannath. So, yes, this is definitely with uh, Lucky Nations. Uh, short of using some rather iffy uh, messing with your saves, there's not a good way to play without Luckies on in Iron Man. And I, I don't like dabbling in that stuff. I can help it. So, they will bring in Bengal, Majurai, Kaladi, and Vinad. I think Kaladi's fighting VJ, and we'll probably just stick to that because I'm, I'm stronger than VJ now. Not sure if um, Majurai will get through. But basically, we have a tactics tech lead on Bengal, so we should be fine. I just want to get this war started before even more people join this stu stupid coalition and cause me grief. And they will be my targets. Yeah, allies will not join. Defensive attitude, I'm declaring on someone who they are not rivaling. Defensive attitude really they will only protect you in defensive wars or help you in wars against their rivals. You will not be able to call uh, those types otherwise. Hmm. That's true. I could just rely on my vassals over there. Should be okay there because I outnumber them with a tactics lead. Yeah, that's going to be really one-sided. Man, look at this morale differential. 13% um, from Army Tradition, 5.5 from Power Projection, uh, some from Prestige, and 3 from Technology. They are behind in all counts. Otherwise, in fact, they have negative Prestige. And the difference is just devastating. And yeah, I, don't, I was kind of... <laughs> being a baby with this war because man this isn't even remotely challenging that's fine you want to progress quickly in the early goings and this will allow me to do it you find a couple mercs to, to finish this job man can I just straight carpet them? I might be able to just straight carpet them that wouldn't be too bad at all. Actually, go this way, but... One, two, three, four... Split and go. Yeah, unless the um, AI presents me with a reason I should change my mind about Carpet Sieging Bengal, I'm just gonna Carpet Siege Bengal. Because my vassals are probably stronger than the remaining forces in the war that are not being sieged currently. So, up to full speed we go. Um, I will not be able to annex uh, Shanda in this war. The advantage to a coalition war is that the coalition war leader, if you fully occupy them, you get 100% in this patch. That may or may not be around next patch, but that's how it is right now, and it is pretty strong, so take advantage when you can. Let's see if I can, uh... DJ gave him access. Really? What are you doing, Madurai? Oh, Madurai is only tech 2, whereas Carnatic, being a released vassal of mine, is higher than that. That's why. I'll start working some claims over. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, I am frozen in coring. Why am I? Oh, because of Madurai. Well, this isn't good at all. And no diplomats to send. Pretender Rebels? Did you at least finish coring it first? No. 
So I actually do want to go deal with that. That's kind of bad, because I am at 60% overextension and I cannot continue coring. I could go over, or I could feed my uh, Hostile Corporation costs. Vassal. Neither of those sound too good to me. Yeah, I'm going to help a Mednagar out here with their event rebels. We do have 100%. You know what? Let's, we, can, we can stop this for now. Oh, good. So now what? What do I take? Hmm. Yeah, I can't take that. I could make them a vassal. Oh. That's the way. Are they... Whew, they will hate me a long time. But... I don't want a full annex release because I have a good bit of their cores already. The other reason I don't really want to make them a vassal without full annex releasing them is that they're Sunni and they'll convert their stuff to Sunni. So no, that isn't the way. That isn't the way at all. That way is fake. Sunni's a pain to convert. At least if it's Bengali, I can, because it's going to be accepted culture until I am far too big for it to matter. But, um, all the same, I'd rather not struggle here. And I could give a province over, but... Now I have a claim on it. How much tax is this? Oh, it's only one tax. Okay. Well, that'll be the way, then, that I do this. Now, who is my true sum will stop with? Oh, I can uh, pick on Bamanis a little bit more. They're still a rival. That's pretty brave. Yeah, I'm just going to let that siege out finish out here. Nope. Get Jarkan Nationalists, absolutely. <laughs> Watch them not have that when I take it, though. Oh, they're gonna be there, so I might as well get rid of them. Pretty easy stuff since they're not my rebels. Oh, that leaves me at exactly 40. So no, I'm not going to give that to my vassal. I'm just going to hang on to it. It's not perfect, but it won't create that long of a truce either. It gets me out of my quarter trouble, so... This is low tax. This is also low tax. You know what, let's play it a little safe with the unrest, and then just core it. Core all the things. Tamil Patriots are, uh, potential here. Oh, that's because they were valuable provinces in hostile culture that I didn't want to mess with. Now, interestingly, we've actually, uh, pushed our force limit up to where we murked to, uh, managed to hold on without getting Bengali Patriots earlier. So now it's just a matter of, uh... Oh man, that's more than a year though. I still think that's probably better for my rotation, especially since they're still Shia. And I don't want them converting anything, so I'm not gonna mess around too much. Although, let's start working on getting you annexed, I'm in Nagar.
Yeah, Gudra doesn't look like they're doing so hot either. Ooh. Love the lower autonomy, but... Well, actually... Let's see here. Can't count on more than one from stability. Despota, monarchy, legitimacy is at three. I can probably get away with it. Anti-Muslim edict will vastly reduce your tolerance of heathens for 0.5% missionary strength. I very much consider that not a worthy trade. Not at all. Ooh, I do border them now, too. So we're going to ignore that, but we are not going to ignore the opportunity in provinces that have autonomy to lower it. Yes, this will put me at some risk for rebels. I do acknowledge that. That is certainly true. Um, if they have nationalism, I probably don't want to do it. So we're going to hold off on provinces with nationalism. Uh, we do not have it here, so we will drop that. Still got nationalism there. What about Bengal Delta? Still got nationalism. So, a little bit. A little bit of lowering autonomy. Manually lowering autonomy if you are playing in the rest of the world, as in not Europe. <laughs> That's what rest of the world means. Manually lowering autonomy is a pretty important part of your gameplay. It's not unimportant in Europe either, but you get to government forms that... Um, you get to government forms that you can have taking local autonomy off much faster. You get to ideas faster, so it's easier to manage all around compared to this. And when is my truce with uh, Bomana? Is over? November next year. November 1467. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind, especially because of despotic monarchy. If you're not in a despotic monarchy, see if you can get there. It gives you one more unrest, and all well, the unjustified demands bonus is not exactly bad either. So you have a couple things helping you out there. Balkandan well, nationalists are here. Let's see if I can bring these down while I'm waiting for the Bombana stuff. Now I'm missing one somewhere. Where am I missing it? Oh, well, I'm not stopping it anyway. And they will go away when I, uh... Unlike the Tamil ones. Can I get the Tamil ones down? You go away by five? Yes, it's possible. It's actually possible. If I can finish coring before the Tamil Patriots pop, I can stop them from happening. Who can I put claims on now? Well, I can still throw more on VJ. It's always a fun pastime, throwing claims on VJ Nagar. Gotta keep my eye on the Bengali stuff too. I don't think that's gonna be too threatening though. I took less this time from Bengali. A lot of it's jar candy. And those crappy provinces I don't really care about too much. Okay, we got an advisor dying. Do you wanna keep them on? Ooh, and morale. Not quite as good as Discipline, but pretty darn close. And it's November of this year that I need to hit Bamanis. Now, do they have any meaningful allies? No! Why, Jonfer? Why are you allying the trash? Ah! Shoot! Completely neglected that. Mmm!
Could just like declare on war in Chapura or something. <laughs> okay, who are your rivals? Bengal, Delhi, and Punjab. The alternative is to de just declare on them. Oh yeah, you, Mawa. You still don't like Bomanis. If I can bring in Mawa, then I will probably betray Jodhpur. Let's see. Yeah, the only thing stopping them is uh, the fact that it would truce break. They are also allied with Multan, who's not very significant, and me, which is uh, very insignificant when it comes to fighting the wars. So, well, <laughs> I'm not going to fight against myself is basically what I'm getting at in saying that. So I'll go up a little bit here. I do have a tactics tech. I'm about to get a, uh, a, a pseudo military unit advantage as well. It's not really going to be much of one because of a lot of mercs that I'm not going to dump just yet. But, um, it's handy. And yeah, see how they're positioned? You really don't want to be that far apart. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive them. I'm going to declare war on Bamanis, co-belligerent John Purr, and uh, run in. Catch them split up. Anyone else I want to fabricate claims on, or... Send a gift. There. When is this going to finish? And this is November, not December, right? Although I won't be able to declare until November, or until December. I can, but I would break truce. I don't want to break truce. <laughs> Basically. You station there, and you are reserves. And they're getting Nepali nationalists. This I like to see. Nice being able to see them, too. <laughs> Autonomy decreased. That's alright, yeah, see? That's what we're looking for. Yeah, it seems like they are still tracking, to a degree, the truces. Or like the truce tracking isn't consistent or something. Anyway. I think it's about time we started on this. They are our religion, so that helps. Definitely around plus three. Oh, I'm running a statesman, that's why. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. Um, they've got a 14 stack in Bengal that I cannot interact with. I'm going to pull this back. And I'm going to try and make a run at uh, their 14 there. You will join now, right, Mala? Threatened? You won't join because you're threatened? Oh, man. <laughs> what kind of crap reason is that? I hate that reason. That reason irks me. <laughs> Can I get you to not be threatened? You're my frickin' ally! We won't join because we're scared of you! <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen if you don't help me? I'm gonna see if tossing them a little change changes their mind. If I can get them over plus 100 or something. I wish I could just Diplo vassal them, but they, they don't allow that, even though they allow royal marriages, but not personal unions in the rest of the world now. Stop with that. 
I'm getting enough problems with inflation. Nope, still threatened. Well, you alley the Jonper, you are not. So, we are just going to cut them off. Rely on our vassals to deal with uh, Bamanis and. Will you give me access, Bengal? I'm fighting your enemy. Nope, <laughs> they'd rather die. All right. You are making me feel the same way. Oh, they don't have a general on that stack. Oof, cut off, huh? They have more numbers, but it's not going to help. Flatlands... there. Can I beat them there? Nope. I can probably catch them in John for I'm going to slow down the speed a bit so I can do that. June 1st. So, we just make a run. And the basic idea is to not let that 11 stack and that 12 stack fight together and to attack them while they are outnumbered. Ooh. And we did not manage. They uh, tricked me. <laughs> we'll do what we can here. It's gonna hurt a lot. Thankfully a lot of the damage was sustained by my vassals. Took one for the team. Thank you for that. That's a pretty good province. I'll take it. They're going to there. I don't think they'll stop there, though. Oh, maybe they will. In that case, I'm just going to get an easy stack wipe. <laughs> Was not expecting that to go quite that well, but I'll take it. I just massacred like 20 regiments belonging to John Burr in one stack wipe chase. And my own casualties were not that bad. I am still up to tactics tech. Pretty strong advantage in India if you can do it. Just to get your tactics tech advantages. I mean, you're seeing the results here. The uh, the combat's really one-sided. These numbers numeric, these wars numerically are pretty darn similar between me and uh, John Per and me and uh, VJ Nagar, that kind of stuff. In fact, I was technically outnumbered in the war against VJ. But if you have the military technology breakpoints, it's just uh, too much. They had to handle. And it looks like Delhi's in on this too. Oh, it's because of the their war with Bengal. And we're just gonna. Do a nice carpet and then take a run on Bamanis. It looks like VJ is going to beat me there if I don't do something to them too. They're gradually getting uh, over the fact that their march status was revoked. Where'd you come from? Did I lose units today? No, I just neglected the province, but it looks like um, <laughs> Delhi will take care of that one for me. Yeah, that wasn't too bright, Bamanis, gotta say. Actually? 
I wonder if I can win the race against VJ. Go! <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nothing for you, VJ. Sorry. No soup for you. Oh yeah, we got a... A three-fort province in John Per. Now, I still have my royal marriage with John Per, and they're not going to be too happy with me. But what can you do? I think are they the one who asked for it? I think so. Yeah, I lost the royal marriage with Malwa. I do want to hold on to that alliance a little bit longer, as I've kind of picked a side between the two of them. I'm not going to remarry them though. I'm just going to improve relations. For a bit. Yeah, and there's Kathia War. They have started annexing Gondwana. I can actually interrupt that by occupying Gondwana's capital. And we are set to get Tamil Patriots unless I do something about it. Wonder if I can muster up enough units here to go deal with it. I think so. I think I can manage. I like how VJ is helping me siege and dash. It's a nice gesture. They're gonna get annihilated by the Nepalese nationalists. There's a good reason I didn't go up there. <laughs> but subjects, not the brightest things. You rely on them only if you have to. Otherwise, you you don't rely on them. And if they help you, great. Use them. Sure. But don't rely on them unless you have to, because it is miserable. You can, like, position one stacks on them and move them province by province. That's pretty reliable. But it's not perfect. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the um, Tamil Patriot unrest here. we got to get some Arisi peasants in our face, too. All kinds of uh, potential rebels going on here. Ooh. I think I'm in more need of admin than military at this stage. Wow, Mal was really friendly. Sure was up with that. Your Rajput too, aren't you? It's all the same. Screw Rajput ideas and their hostile corporation cost crap. Okay. Do I have any reason to, de to deviate off of Shiva? At this point, I've pretty well angered everyone on the Indian subcontinent, and I won't find allies for some time. This is just going to be a straight war game for quite a while now. We're just going to stick on Shiva. It's not like I need the help in the military department, so... Now, who betrayed who, huh, Jomper? You tell me. Oof. It's too much. I know the Tamil Patriot stuff tick all the way down. Oh, no, I'm getting a little bit of unrest. Oh no, it's still going down. Yep. Push that down a bit. Yeah, there it is. Carjack getting blown to smithereens by the nationalists. Okay, so we've completely annihilated that. And we shall take... 
So I don't want to spend Diplo power on a one tax province. There's just no good in it. No good at all. Don't care about a deli. Don't care about that. No. And I can make him give me money. I'm kind of high on money. I should be spending that a little bit better now that I'm looking. Ooh. Hmm. Didn't think the cunning plan all the way through, perhaps. <laughs> well, what am I at here? I'm at 80% OE? Here's the deal then. Still below 100. Oh, don't be buttered over it, Malabar. I guess that's four tax. I should probably leave it. Yeah, now we have lots of rebels in our face, but that's alright. A lot of that'll go away when I'm done coring, which is going to take longer than usual because I cut in a line through John Per. Not my best work, perhaps. But as long as I don't do anything that brings John Per in on me, I should be okay. Alright.